Hi everyone, it's Brett, and I'd like to welcome you to my backyard. Look at all this snow. It's easy to feel stuck inside when it's cold and when there's nowhere to go out in all this snow. But if you're properly bundled up, you can have a lot of fun playing outside in the snow. Also, you can have a lot of fun making art. I've collected a few things that I think can help get you started. You might have some of these around your house too. If you don't have the exact same supplies, I'm sure you can find something similar. A bucket or a pail is a great thing to fill with snow and to stack to make larger forms. As you can hear, I've got a few other treats inside. Let's take a look. I found a garden trowel or hand shovel. This is great for smoothing, scraping away at, carving and shoveling, or even drilling with the end into your pile of snow. You might have something similar in your garage or in a shed. A spoon from your kitchen is another smaller shoveler, smoother, and scraper. Even a fork can be used to add textures or lines and shapes to the surface of the snow. Make sure these are things you can take outside and play with, though. I also have some smaller cups. These can be filled with snow and stacked to make smaller forms. What else can you find around your house or around the outdoors that can make marks into snow? Snow sculpting is a reductive process. You remove snow to make a new form. To start, you need a large block of snow. Pack the bucket tightly with snow. Flatten the snow on the ground where you will place your first block. Then empty the bucket upside down onto the ground. You'll have one small bucket-shaped block. Repeat, stacking the smaller blocks to make a larger block to sculpt. Add handfuls of snow to the seams where the two blocks meet. This will help make one solid block and help make your sculpture more stable. Before we start shaping our sculpture, let's take a look at an artwork in the museum. This abstract sculpture is by Barbara Hepworth. It's made of marble, a type of stone. To make it, she started with a large block of marble, which she carved into a rough form. She then sanded the rough form smooth to finish it. Imagine what you want to make. I'm going to make something abstract, like Barbara Hepworth's sculpture. Since the form I'm starting with is already rounded, I'll imagine something like a tower with a rounded top and flat front. I'll use the edge of my tool to shovel and scrape snow away from my form until it is shaped the way I want. Take little bits away at a time. Trying to remove too much snow all at once can make the whole sculpture crack and fall apart. Next, I'll use the end of my tool to drill a hole all the way through the form. When making her sculpture, Hepworth carved holes all the way through the block of stone. Unlike snow, stone can't be stuck back together easily. Hepworth had to be very skilled to make her sculptures without breaking the stone. Support your sculpture by placing your hand on the opposite side of where you will start your hole. Gently twist the end of your tool while you slowly push it into the snow. You will know if you are pushing too hard if you feel your sculpture moving. Carefully remove your tool and check your hole to see if you've drilled all the way through. You can then use the tip of the shovel to widen the hole. You may need to drill inwards from the front and back side if your snow form is too wide. This is tricky to do. If your snow form crumbles, just start over. If this part is too tricky, it's okay to skip it. Remember, this is your sculpture and you get to decide what it looks like. The flat back side of my tool is great for smoothing the snow. I'll use a kitchen spoon to add additional details to my sculpture. Just like the larger shovel, I'll slowly and carefully carve snow away. I think the fork will make interesting textures. I'll add some texture here and there where I think it looks nice. Snow is soft. You can make marks in it and shape it with many different things. What kinds of marks can you make with the tools that you have? What can you find around you that will make marks in the snow? After a few finishing touches, I think my sculpture is complete. It kind of reminds me of a face. What does it look like to you? Share your creations with us.